Welcome back to another video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. Anyway, let's play. So we're going to run all the way to where we're supposed to be. Uh, we did a little bit of inventory management. And uh, I think we're pretty happy right now. Good stuff, good stuff. Gotta kill some boars, obviously for our quest. No snouts there. Got some skinning to do here. No snouts again. Ooh, nice. Light, uh, light hide. It still gives experience. Pretty good stuff. Don't need the birdies anymore, so we'll just give that a Skipperinski. Dude, where's my snout at, huh? You're acting like no boar has a snout. Goodness. Oh, we actually don't need the snouts, we need liver. My bad. Oh, I can skin it. Look at this bowels, dude. Even healing me. It'll renew on me. That's great. I'll take it. Don't mind if I do. Still need two more. Looks like a boar. It is. It's just not looted. Oh yeah, it wants us to go all the way here now to the nulls. Because I actually stopped uh, roughly there when I saw it's null time. Uh, there's multiple reasons. The biggest one was my inventory was full. And since we're on South Found, like we're missing out on so much experience or so much uh, money. And why is money an issue? Well, we need to be able to afford a mount at level 40. That is the the hardest, most probably, thing to get. We'll let that boar slide. We'll take this one. Someone is killing the nulls.
There's one up here at least, that's solo. Yeah, the drop chance of those nulls is actually pretty low. It's pretty null. <laughs> That's what I don't really want to throw to pull them because some of them actually shoot the crossbow. Okay, I'm not a fan of that. Okay, turn around. We have one unspent talent. Give me them dodges, bro. Okay, we got one null pour at least. We got two actually in total. Solo Null should be roughly this way again. As long as you don't pull this guy, we'll be fine. Very annoying elemental. Gotta farm three Murloc eyes also. There's a boar also in the distance. A 20 minute debuff. We lose four spurt. Was also unkickable. I could have gouged it most probably. So looks like the ones with the fire sticks they are they're gonna shoot. So 
So that one will be ranged. Not this one. This damage seems juicy. Holy bro. Absolute smacked. Okay, I guess we can craft some here. Well, we get a little bit of health also. Um, either we go down for Murloc Eyes and do like a whole rotation. Or just keep going for Nulls. You know, Nulls here. So, we'll run back. Wait for the game to tell us to go for the nulls. Oh, sorry, for Murloc Eyes. I will go for these two. I do have evasion if needed. A three pull here. Yeah. Evasion too strong, bro. Why did that bird just come out of nowhere? Oh, there's more that we can kill than here. Like, I honestly don't get it. Intel one stam. And we have no option. It's the best we got. I kind of want to just kill the bird now, coming out of nowhere. These are a triple pull. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. Not bad at all. Okay, Nulls is done. We still need a boar. Sure, just maybe got food buff. But it's I. Nope, still not done with boars. That's just great. Oof. <laughs> Yowza, dude. <laughs> Damage looks juicy. We want more. Still not done? Yeah, we're getting Murloc eyes after this. Should we just go for Murloc Eyes, I guess? We didn't know how kick works. Goodness, you're fast, bro. You need some milk. Ouch. <laughs> That's a 60 crit opener. These two are too close, unless you just fight both, whatever. Yeah, 
No way of attracting more, so we could let him run. Yo, give me your eyes, bro. What the heck? What are you doing? Where is he going? Oh no. Six is nature. There's one running like crazy again. Maybe he stopped. Are you serious? Where's the Murloc eyes, dude? We got two of them like back to back and now we just don't see any. You're telling me that all these Murlocs is eyeless. They're all blind. All of them. Literally every one of them. Well, this sucks. Rub food buff. This slows movement speed also, yeah? 16%. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Blind murkies, that's all I'm fighting, dude. They have eye sockets, but no eyes. You know, like, uh, Murloc eyes is so cheap on the auction house, it's like 9 copper. This is, uh, this is stuff you can't make up. <laughs> like, honestly, I, did, I, I, I didn't expect to get one every kill, but this is about... I don't even know, 10 to 15 kills and we got two eyes. Just think about it, every Murloc has two eyes. You should have a pretty high chance to get a Murloc eye. Every single kill.
Thank you. Goodness, bro. A little redonkulous, if you ask me. Okay, need to find more boars. One more boar kill and then that's a lot of experience hand-ins we're gonna do. By the way, the green bar at the bottom is a rough, a rough indicator. If we hand in all our quests, where our experience will be. So you can see we're barely just not making the level. Which, in my opinion, is fine, dude. Should have gone for that one. But I feel like there's a lot in the middle we could go for. Still getting scrap. Forgot that druids get their cheetah form. Got that also now. Oh, nearly Mabri. skin the bird so kind of avoid if I can we have no more inventory space Dude, like it's not even worth farming leather because getting scrap is just so inefficient. Wait, what? I'm already here though. So, can I look at the arrows, Mabri? Can't believe that uh, that Wow is actually doing pretty good on the channel. So I just want to tell you guys, so like, like, thank you so much for supporting the series. I really do appreciate it. I haven't uploaded part one of this series yet. It should be later today in real time for me. The part one will get uploaded. But I'm recording in bulk 
And uh, it seems like WoW is doing pretty good. Rough times, huh, adventurer? No matter where you turn, someone needs help, and my wife and I are no exception. Good work, friend. You have earned your pay well. Who knows, perhaps Westfall will prosper once again. Light bless you. Uh, that's a pretty big upgrade. Rough times, huh, adventurer? No matter where you turn, someone needs help, and my wife and I are no exception. That's a pretty big upgrade. Be careful. Hey there. These are just perfect adventurer. Thank you so much. Farmer Saldine and I are going to feast tonight. And here is a little something for you, for the hard work. You didn't think I was going to let an adventurer like you go hungry, did you? That okra will thicken up this broth nicely. Now we just add the stringy vulture meat, a few murloc eyes, and those delicious garitusk snouts. And we're done. For all your help, adventurer, I want you to take today's first batch of Westfall stew. Yeah, I don't want that shit. Thank you. But no, thank you. Okay, we have cooking 75 also a scroll. Kind of annoying. Cooking uh, is something that's pretty hard to level. Unless you're like farming often. Got some nice boar meat though. I should have... Uh, I should have just made it there. Yeah, we should go to 75 with all of this. That's pretty cool. Also, it showed that um, the, the, it's a weapon upgrade. And it's because the weapon we got is like very fast. 1.5. The attack speed. Well done, adventurer. My scout witnessed your valiant acts. You are proving yourself quite well so far. A band of vicious defias pillagers has been seen plundering the Gold Coast Quarry, Moonbrook, and the Alexton Farmstead. The people's militia will not stand for such behavior. Dispatch immediately, adventurer, and make the light's presence known in Westfall. The Gold Coast Quarry is near the shore, to the west of the tower. As the next step of your training, I want you to kill 15 of those foul Defias pillagers and 15 Defias looters. The band of wretches responsible for driving the good people of Westfall from the land call themselves the Defias Brotherhood. I need you to infiltrate this clan of thugs. We need to know who heads up the cartel and where they are hiding. What the heck? In Lakeshire, in the inn, there is a rogue by the name of Wiley who owes me a favor. Travel to Lakeshire in the Red Ridge Mountains, east of Elwyn and find out what you can. Well done, adventurer. Let me just pause here. So there was a cloth ants that gives you strength. Like, are you kidding me? Who would ever take that? I mean, we most probably would take it if you have nothing better, but cloth ants like, that gives strength. What? I mean, at this point in the game, if you're roughly here where we are right now, you should have a wand. And no cloth user will use their mace. Plus two strength. Come on, dude. Well done, adventurer. With valiant adventurers such as yourself fighting alongside the people's militia, Westfall just might return to the prosperous breadbasket it once was. Please accept this in recognition of your tireless efforts. Nice work, person. Please accept one of these items as payment for all your hard work. Nice work, person. I have a name. <laughs> I have a name. Okay, where are we flying to now? I got a feeling we're flying to Iron Forge. It's gonna be a long fly, dude.
If we're flying to Ironforge, I'll pause for you guys until we get there. Yeah, I'll catch you guys when we land. <laughs> and we are here. So I feel like we want to do cooking. Let's use our sprint, just to know where to go. Level 60 mage. What? No, that's not Southhound, right? Yeah, he doesn't have the Southhound. Authority of the King has Magni taken complete leave of his senses, and that damnable Whitebeard taken matters into his own hands, has he? The Senate will not be pleased to hear about this, not one bit. What? Are you still here? Go before I call the guards. Thimble Fine Spindle has a shop set up on the northwest side of the Great Forge. I wager he could show you how to make some fine armor. What do you need directions to? Which profession trainer would you be looking for? A cooking trainer, is it? Well then, get yourself over to the bronze kettle on the northeastern side of the Great Forge. Daryl Rickneson will teach you to make a mighty fine dish that's sure to put the life back in you. Okay, so... We're also going to go to the cooking after. Greetings. Let's see her. There they're working stuff. Can make this afterwards. Uh, we're spamming those boots, dude. So this is an easy uh, eight or levels. So, just four more. Then leatherworking is done. Right. Your skills are coming along nicely. Soon you'll be running a leather shop of your own. I'll be glad for the help, adventurer. My hands are only so fast, you know? There's so much work to do. Okay, let's get to our cooking trainer. Then we'll run up here, hand in that quest, road to salvation. So this one right here. Keep them fed, kid. Yep, Daryl Rick Newson at your service. I have the finest wires in the land. Okay, we need to get water. Be good. What the heck is this? Better bags? What are you doing? Okay, so let's do this. And we're 70, so we'll be 75 for sure. There we go, 75, so we can actually use that scroll now. That's great. Wasteful stew. So now we can actually sell those. How are you? Sell this, sell this. 
that's all this. I will keep this. Because we're going to use it later, it seems. 24 to 27. Clam meat. Uh, we'll keep it in our inventory. Test times is done. Okay, is this our inventory? Keep your feet on the ground. Kind of looks like it. Okay, let us hand in this quest here. Sprint this up every five minutes. So we're going into parry after. and more corrupt with each passing day. Ye can smell the stink coming off of his body. He be dirty, and I done just mean he be needing a wash. Enough babbling from Ulfton. Where did ye come from, and how can me help ye, adventurer? So, ye you think you're a right scoundrel? Destined to be one of Blackbeard's chosen few. An officer of the Hidden Circle? Only a good-for-nothing scallywag would think so highly of himself. That's exactly what we be looking for. Welcome aboard, adventurer. Ye see, the king be strip mining the quarry for ore and gems. More riches than any one dwarf should see in ten lifetimes. The hidden circle has values, adventurer. We value valuables. Can you understand? Now we feels the king should be sharing some of that booty. But we don't want old Stinkbeard to know he's sharing, if you catch me drift. We need you to speak with Onin Makama over by Nomaregan and bring back a report. The crafty dwarf has hidden himself amongst the lepers. Be careful. This actually would be fantastic. This this uh this weapon. Plus two agility. It's a 100% increase for the, for the offhand. It's a fairly slow dagger, which makes it not that great. But it's perfect if you were... If you're playing with ambush. But we're not. Oh man, it's a skip again. So we're going to Darkshore now. We're gonna level here. Freaking hate this skip, dude. Shouldn't I just do that quest? Get it out of our inventory? I mean, it's really far away. But yeah, I'll catch you guys once I'm there. I think I'm gonna just do this quest. Maybe it leads to, I don't know, also a green item. Okay, so we're here now. Slap it like it's hot. Keep it down, you daft fool. They'll hear us. 
The quarry? Yap! I see those monstrous armoured steam tanks come by this post near every day. My contacts to the east tell me that the tank starts off at Iron Forge, makes a pickup at the Golbola Quarry, stops over at Karanos to refuel, and then, for some blasted reason, it takes the long way around past Nomoregan before reaching Iron Forge to drop off the shipment. It's all in the report, person. Take it back to Hulfdan so he can plan the next step. Told you. Getting another uh, green dagger here. So what is this one? Defias shipping schedule. Find the Defias dock master and remove the shipping schedule for master. Okay. When they say Defias, I automatically just th think it's wasteful. Because these daggers is actually pretty insane. But yeah, let's uh, quickly run back to Iron Forge. I'll catch you guys once we're there. How are you? Long root? In the name of me own beard! Ye done good, adventurer! Take this dagger and be gone with ye. The circle will call upon ye again when step three be ready to be set into motion. What's step three? It comes right after step two. Me putting me boot up your backside. Interested? Not really. Okay, so one strength or one agility. Sorry, sword. Next time, dude. Yeah, it's fine running like this. Okay, I'll grab you guys again once we are ready to do the skip. Up here. But am I at the right place? Yeah, we are. Okay, here we go. Give me a half an hour and I'll jump my way up here. There we go. Hey, we made it. Goodness, dude. I mean, this is a hundred times faster than swimming. This doesn't look right. Yeah, let me just make it slower again. Okay, good stuff, good stuff.
Okay, running right path still. So I just have the video open. Okay, let me just rewind a bit. Okay, now this video is so fast. It's all the way down here now. Such a weird skip, dude. So far, so good. Gotta go fast, baby. The skip is so weird, honestly. And also, why is there stuff up here? There's cows. There's, like, no one would get here. Look at where we are. Uh, let me just see where he was. <coughs> Sorry.
Oh shit. I will survive. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you. That was uh, not cool, dude. We almost uh we almost died there. I should have just gone inverse and and swam across. I think that would be a better option. But yet again, the game could have also just made a better path to Dark Shore. If you're not not elf. That was actually pretty close. We almost died. See you later. Okay, so, we're still alive. We're trying to buy some potions now. It's the upgraded potions. We actually don't need it, to be honest. Not yet. Would be nice to buy, though. Can I help you? But people are buying it, I'm pretty sure. That's why they never have it. you like to fly to safe travels all right buy as many healing potions as you can so there's three vent oh the boat is here are we gonna make it my sprints on cooldown No, it's leaving. Would have made it in time if I didn't thank the guy. <laughs> it's okay. Let's see if we can buy the potions now. something safe travel my goods are of the highest quality good luck friend. yeah really unfortunate Okay, we'll just wait here for the boat to arrive. Obviously, I'll skip it for you guys. All right. And we are in Dark Shore. Just like that. One, two, three. The power of recording versus streaming, right? Now that's what I'm talking about. Alrighty, Night Elf area. Pretty good stuff. We have almost, we're almost full green. I'm missing three pieces still. I mean, obviously the headpiece don't count. Because it doesn't even give armor. It's just cosmetic at the moment. May Alun walk with you, adventurer. The Temple of the Moon has come to help the troubled citizens of Oberdeen. 
majestic sea creatures are known to launch themselves at the Darkshore coastline, beached there until they die. Lately, these beasts have been washing ashore in ever-increasing numbers. I've been sent here by the Temple of the Moon to investigate, but the presence of murlocs along the water has made my research difficult. There is a giant creature washed ashore just south of Aberdeen that is ringed by the foul gray mist murlocs. Could you go there and retrieve bones from the creature for our study? Hey, yes. help me with my latest invention, the buzz box. You can talk to people far away. Maybe you've already seen them. They're boxes with levers on them. The only problem is they need constant maintenance. Each one suffers from a different problem, but I made a really smart decision. I placed each one near creatures that have the proper parts to fix that particular machine. Right now, Buzzbox 827 is on the Fritz. It's just south of Aberdeen, real close. It takes six crawler legs to fix it. I'll pay you heat. A sickness spreads across the dark shore, gripping the minds and bodies of all it touches. The thistle bears have been hit the hardest by this plague. The once noble beasts are now an instrument of destruction, rabid and frenzied. I may have a cure for this ailment. Take this trap to the forest and lay it on the ground. Any rabid thistle bear that crosses the light shall become docile for a short time. Once the bear is docile, it shall follow you. Lead it back here, adventurer. Some of my brethren were rescued from a corrupt furbog in Teldrassil, and I vowed to stop any more atrocities before more of our kind are injured. Or worse. I have seen a couple hints of corruption in Darkshore already, but I have yet to find any widespread signs. I think it would be logical if the investigation continued with the furbogs. Would you find one of their camps and return to me if you see any signs of corruption? Yeah. Sure, buddy. Whatever you need, as long as you pay me, okay? I'm a slut for money. Dude, our damage is only gonna go up from here, man. We're only gonna get stronger from this point onwards. I'm really excited for this. I don't know, it feels like we're broken strong at the moment. Obviously at this point you still couldn't dungeon, so... Kick that. Uh, this doesn't show kickable costs. Oh. It doesn't give agility, though. Getting a gun doesn't make sense then. Yeah, there's a hunter killing all the crabs at the moment. And a druid killing that bear. No, let me steal it from you. Dude, all I see is just dead crabs everywhere. <laughs> Honestly, bro.
Poor crabs, they had better days for sure. We don't need murlocs that I'm aware of. Don't even get experience for these crabs, dude. What's that all about? Eh? Crabs are spawning. They're respawning again. Oi, give me my legs, my bro. Really, we leveled up? I'll take it. Okay, so after this, we're going into five here. Getting that parry chance up. Uh, parry is really, really good for melee. So warriors... I don't know about druids. I don't, I don't even know if they can parry, dude. And it's because it, it resets the um, your main weapon's swing timer. So you will do more DPS. Ooh, hiccups. You will do more DPS uh, every time you parry. But not just that, on rogues, we actually get an ability called Repost. So we will disarm the enemy after we parry them. There's not a lot of usefulness, I feel like, to it. I hope the Murloc did not give you much trouble in collecting this for us. I will be sure to get this on the next Hippogriff to Darnassus. The Temple of the Moon has given me some funds to hand out for assistance. Please have some with our thanks. Your success here emboldens me to offer you a chance to aid the Temple of the Moon further, if you are interested. That beached creature is not an isolated incident here in Darkshore. There are more along the coastline and even in the water. I would like for you to investigate another one that we know of. This one was reported to be in the water due west of Oberdeen, close to a sunken vessel. Return to me with anything that you may recover that would aid our research. Also, in your travels you may find other creatures. 
By all means, if you should discover anything, then please bring it to our attention. Okay, I'll grab this quest over here. And then I think we're gonna get some eyes. In the aftermath of the battles at the Well of Eternity, I heard that Amatharan had been destroyed, its people dead, including my love, Anaya. I would never have thought, thousands of years later, that memories of Anaya would still haunt my dreams. Wandering the woods of Darkshore in a stupor, I found myself in the ruins of Ameth Aran, where I saw the haunted spirit of my beloved. She must be freed, but I lack the heart to do it. Her spirit must be destroyed. Let's kill this guy. He called me names, so I gotta kill him. I'm just kidding, dude. You have to get three of them. Three eyes again, but you know that you know most of them are blind. So it would be cool to have such a thing as a pet, dude. It's kind of scary. See no eyes, dude. <laughs> Don't ask me how we throw daggers underwater. Why is it so skew? Oh, I know why. Because he has no eyes. But this one actually had one eye. We don't need that one. So let's go. that on my PC. There it is. Found you. Goodness. All these dodges and patties, bro. Goodness. Just accept my dagger up your ass, bro. Huh? Why are you not accepting it? Just accept it. <laughs> Some good damage we got there.
And another one. We still only have one eye though, so... Gotta keep killing on top of the air. Doo -doo. Quest complete. And then we'll all be good to you. There we go, another eye. We need one more. That's what I'm talking about. I'm so scared of this connecting underwater, dude. Because that's a sure death right there. No going back from that. So I prefer actually avoiding water quests at all costs. Still not done yet, son. At least we're getting uh, some skinning done as well. Yay. Why are we getting lower arrows now? The guard is busy glitching out my buddy. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Our inventory on the other hand is technically not fine though. Got a pearl. There is something you can craft. I can't remember what it was though. With leather working. With these small pearls. They are worth two silver to vendor, which is not bad. You've been a tremendous help here today. We now have a solid chance at unlocking the mystery of why these creatures choose to beach themselves on the coast of Darkshore. The idea that they might be fleeing the area around Teldrassil is disturbing. Should you come across others in your travels, please let me know. Our research here is but in its infancy. On behalf of the Temple of the Moon, Please accept this as thanks for the effort you have given. Thank you, adventurer. No problem, girl. May the stars guide you. May the payment be show me your nips. You know what I'm saying? 
Just show, just show it to me. Hostile moonkin roam in ever increasing numbers to our east. They once were thought to be gentle, almost mystical creatures. While some continue to hold reverence for them, the safety of Oberdeen forces me to keep a more realistic view. I've received reports that Moonkin are being drawn to a large red crystal along Darkshore's eastern mountain range. No one has any idea what that crystal is, or even if it really exists. I want you to locate it over there and report back to me what you find. Our work has only just begun, adventurer. Are you prepared for your next task? As I had feared, the cure does not work. It saddens me greatly to order the death of any of nature's beasts, but the sick and tainted thistle bears must be put down. Return to the forest and destroy 20 rabid thistle bears, adventurer. It will most certainly not put a stop to the plague, but it will slow down the damage the animals are doing to our forest and its inhabitants for a short time. This is terrible news indeed, adventurer. With the fur bogs this close to Aberdeen, we will have to prepare ourselves for the inevitable. Thank you, adventurer. You've already proven adept at scouting our enemy, adventurer. Do you have what it takes to fight them as well? Not all adventurers prefer straightforward combat to the art of stealth and evasion. If you think you're up for the task, then the Furball camp south of Aberdeen is currently the biggest threat to our people. You'll find some of the Blackwood tribe there. Kill eight Pathfinders and five Windtalkers and return to me here. Your scouting of the Furball camp is information that Thundrous Windweaver should be made aware of. He graciously serves as the Elder of Aberdeen, offering sage and just stewardship of the day-to-day -day affairs of the village. Please. Share with him your findings to date on the Furbolg situation. I believe he has some ideas of his own on the reasons behind their corruption. Perhaps you can work with him to enact a plan to restore the balance of nature here. Off the coast of Darkshore to our north are two wrecked ships, the Silver Dawning and the Mist Veil. Some time ago, both ships ran afoul of the blasted Murlocs as they sailed across the vast sea into Oberdeen. They now lie at the bottom of the ocean as trophies for those fiends. Both captains didn't make it out that night, and their logs and other effects are still below in lockboxes. I'd like for you to recover them for us. It would mean a lot to the crew members still around these parts. Well met, adventurer. Your scouting of the Fur Bog situation comes at a fortuitous time for us in Aberdeen. For some time we have dealt with not only forest dwellers who are now openly hostile to our presence, but also the outright corruption of the forest itself. Hopefully you might be able to lend Aberdeen aid during these troubling times. The Cliff Spring River has begun turning foul and corrupted. It empties into the mist's edge, and I fear the wash will affect Aberdeen soon. I suspect the Blackwood Furbogs upriver are the cause of the taint, but I also suspect that they aren't the true root of it. Take this sampling tube and go to the mouth of the river to our north. Proceed inland to the first waterfall and draw a sample from the pool. You'll see a bridge. Once you have a sample, return to me in Aberdeen. The ruins of Bachelaren to the east are overrun with demonic minions. The sprites and satyrs that have taken up residence in the area feed upon the magical energies of the area, their powers growing from continued exposure. Even with that, I have noticed that there is one shrine they will not approach. On the western side of the ruins, atop a small bluff, a strange blue aura permeates. There must be an explanation to the demon's reluctance. I would like you to investigate it. Adventurer, a task I would ask of you. Have you seen the ruins of Ameth Aran? If not, you will find them on the eastern side of the main road, some ways to the south. Once they were the home of many powerful highborn. Now they are a testament to the destruction their dabblings produced. I've been told by the Sentinels that the spirits of the highborn persist and that they wield their ancient magical implements. Those relics must be appropriated, so that we might destroy them. Do I have enough time to kill both and... I 
and chest and out. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, okay, we did it. <sighs> Bro. Kick that healing wave. Oh, dude. Not cool, man. That was, uh, I hate Mortal Quest so much. I really do. At least we're done with Mortal Quest for now. For quite some time, I would say. You know, we almost died twice already throughout this whole episode. Not cool, man. I kick you. Not gonna call ceiling wave. Some of them think they're a shaman. <laughs> Some murkies. Dude, why the heck are they so fast? Goodness. Gotta go fast, baby. Okay, so where are we going? All the way up there. I. Gonna grab this quest. Quest. <laughs> beached, beached sea turtle. I thought I just did that. Dude, why is everything so fast? I'm just a human, bro. A female. Even slower. Nice green panties you got there. You think the tiger had it on or was it just in his mouth or how the heck? Oh my goodness. Thank you for coming back, bro. I don't know why I ran in the first place. Oof. These crits is juicy.
so let's go. Come here, come here. Come here. Thank you. Good news. You know, them running wasn't an issue with the hunter. Come here. Hey. No. Like, what's the purpose of that? And why is this thing running faster than a tiger or or a or a cat, dude? How does that make sense? We need six strider meats. No wonder they're pretty expensive on the auction house. They run for the A team, dude. All I can do is laugh about it. There she goes again. Yeah. Not a single strata meet yet. It's going to be a fun quest, dude. I can see it. There's like five bearers next to us. Uh, press the wrong button, I guess. Like, what else can I do? We could maybe gouge as it runs. Let's try that next time. Let's get a food buff. Why do heck not? Huh? to grab this. Oh, that's a double pull, I think. Alive. 
There we go. Job's done. Okay, Strider Meat, we have one. We have eight inventory spaces left. Let's try and gouge you now when you run. Why couldn't I gouge? If they must be facing you. Oh my god. Uh. So you can't gouge something that tries to run away. No bear. Looks up pretty good. Oof. Couldn't even run, huh? You just died too fast. That works as well. Got him. Awesomeness. We have two out of five meats. Baby, come back. How far is the thing running, dude? Oh my goodness. What is this? Look at him go. Boom, headshot. We're still two out of five meat. Bro, we're getting punished, dude. 
these striders. Annoying little buggers. Got another bear here. At least the bear's just fighting you. The worst thing they do is just knock you on your ass a bit. But they're not that strong. But they are like green level for us, so. Could be the reason. Oh, we have to drop down. We forgot about it. Or in inventory slots left. Oh no, don't die. Okay, we just took some full damage, but we're we're surviving. Just gotta drop down and use a bottle. Pick up some waterfall water. I don't know what the heck. What's that ping? A level 15 one. You didn't run? Okay, they're way better to deal with. I'd rather go to like half HP than to run out of the thing. green panties. Ah, oh, it's mail. You got mail. This one also might not run. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. But we don't need them, I think. 
Yeah, Adam doesn't mark them. It's the ones that run is the ones we need. Oh, it does get marked. Just don't have that quest yet. So let's go. Since since this thing doesn't run, we could actually just use our attack speed then. Still have food buffs, so we'll first aid. We have no more bag space available. We need one more sword meat, just by the way. We need 10 more bears, 5 more Moonstalkers. Didn't get it. Let's not eat. What? I'm pressing wrong buttons here. Dude, once we get repost, how are we going to repost something like a bear? It won't work, right? It doesn't have a weapon. Can you die? Hello? Quest is done. Done with the Murloc eyes.
We still need four Moonstalkers. I think bear meat is also useless, if I'm not mistaken. Because to do cooking with bear meat, you need like boar intestines also, I think, and something else. Poison ichor or something, I don't know. And that makes it uh, very inefficient to level up with. We can do some first aid, uh, sorry, uh, some profession stuff while we wait. There we go. Another one. Level 17 Hunter. Get under twenty here. Oh, we can't. Inventory spaces, no, no. Not today, son. Uh, bears, we need six more. But bears is not like chance on drop. It's it's killing. So they're a lot easier to get. me there is 37 copper per linen it's actually pretty insane yeah. and we're at bull now right yeah so that's just free money right there. Five more bears. I don't think we need the Night Stalkers, like, right now. The bears, on the other hand, yes. They're easier. Hmm. So we're halfway now with it.
wow. Two in a row. Insane. She Let's do it. Double fight. That's okay. Prefer just fighting one at a time. I feel like it's just the best thing to do. No. That's three in a row. Will we be lucky enough to get four in a row? I know you want to. Oh my goodness. Bro, that's that's broken. We killed like ten of them and we got like two. Maybe 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 we killed like 20 and got to you. Oh, hi there. All quest done, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect time management as well, since it's two hours. We There's a first aid here, oh sorry, our TP point here. Oberdeen. Oberdeen. It's two hours, dude. So. We'll just Hearthstone here. And then we're going to end the episode. Oh, boy. What brings you here? Me? Well, you're buying my scrap, so. That's what brings me here. What brings you here is the better question middle of nowhere just standing here looking weird asking people what they bring what what brings them here okay i think our inventory is fine like this Farewell. so we could just do this but there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you are new. And I'm looking forward to see you guys in the very next video. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Have a great time.